Hey, my powerful Swift family, welcome to Swift Intuition. So family, we're going to dive into this energy and see what it is that spirit wants us to know. Messages of clarity and truth for our Swift family. All right, family, first thing I have is the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like right now some of you guys could be studying, trying to see, um, going into a new adventure, or, the, or this could just be you really trying to itemize what is staying in your life and what is going. I feel like... Uh, for some of you guys, Spirit is saying that it's time for you to clean out your closet, the things that you know you don't wear, <laughs> go ahead and get rid of it. Also, this is, uh, you, you really itemizing, uh, people, situations, what belongs in your life and what doesn't, uh, what should go, what should stay. And it's like decluttering your life. This could be from people, certain energies and things. I feel like right now you're cutting things off. Whatever you feel like is not good for you. Whatever you feel like you don't need any extra items. Feel like you're cutting it off. You're getting rid of it. No, um, making sure that whatever is in the past stays in the past, and whatever you can use or anybody that you feel is going to be beneficial for you moving forward, then that's who can go. I feel like right now, collective, you are you are really uh, we're operating in this wisdom. I feel like you, you're starting to realize. Um, things, situations, you're starting to look at life from a different perspective and you're understanding what works for you and what doesn't. Next thing I see here is the emperor. So I feel like there is a lot of stability coming in for you. And this is another reason why you are uh, clearing out old energies. Um, people who are not balanced, I feel like you are making sure they are uh, out of your life. People that you feel like is going to create some type of conflict because you are walking in your power. Spirit says there is a lot of things that you are, um, that you have, there's a lot of things that you have learned from in your past, from people, situations, and things. And now as you're moving forward, Spirit says there is, there is a lot of control. Spirit says you've got discipline and now you're in this control. And because you are uh, moving in this powerful energy, because you are acquiring more things, more responsibilities, you're cutting off those things that uh, no longer serve you. I see here right now, you're trying to see which direction you want to go into next, especially when it's dealing with this, um, especially when it's dealing with this, with um, moving people, situations that no longer uh, belong in your life, people from the past that are coming up, you are really seeing who you're letting go and who you're going to let move forward with you. You are, um, you are being very precise about certain things that you want to move with you into this new powerful energy you're walking into. I feel like because there's a lot of people that are coming in wanting to create space with you. People want to reconnect with you at this time. And I feel like you're cutting off a lot of people that's trying to come in. They're trying to come in right at a time. This is like all the energies. Like so many people are trying to come in right at the time as your abundance and your blessing is here. As you become stable, and it's like as you become stable, very financially stable, people are wanting to come in and kind of like right wrongs that have been dead and gone past time. I feel like a lot of this, you're just like, bro, you want to wait. You waited too late to try to right this wrong. And now you want to come back in when all my pinnacles are here. And I feel like you're just not hearing it. You're like, no, I'm not about to, I'm not about to, um, you're looking forward. Everything that was behind you, I feel like you're letting it go. You don't even care about it. It's like, and 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 now people are bringing up old situations that you have already healed from, relinquished, don't think about, and they're bringing it back up, hoping that if they clear that off, then they could reconnect with you. And I see you like, hell no. <laughs> Let's just clear. What's this Eight of Pentacles? It says, if I thought I could win, I would fight you. <laughs> So right now, people that you let go, they're upset because you're not giving them an op another opportunity to try to betray you or to even deceive you in any aspect. That's crazy. And right now with the two of wands here, 
I feel like it's the it's the energy of where to go now. You have a lot of people that's trying to reach out. It says uh, answer your phone, please. I feel like you stopped answering your phone from a lot of people in the past that you already know the path with them isn't going anywhere. Um, and that's another reason why people are angry at you because you're not giving them an opportunity to reconnect because you feel like everything, uh, you feel like that anything up until this point, if, if, it, if it hasn't gotten better by now, you're just like, I don't want it. And with this, um, I see here, uh, uh, people you cut off, especially if they know that you're a reader or a tarot reader or you're just an energy person. I feel like you have people that you cut off that are pulling cards and you're trying to see um, how do you feel. And these are some people that, that, that really want to get back in contact with you because of your growth. Um, it's because I see here, let's get married, but and, and and it's like somebody wants to come in and kind of give you a permanent offer. It's like somebody wants, I still feel this trap energy. Somebody want to trap you because maybe in the past they were not wanting a commitment, but now because you've elevated, they want you now. You become this emperor. You become somebody that's of power, somebody that is that can tell that's telling people what to do and how to do it and now you got situations that that didn't care about you in the past now they want to come in and create a solid foundation with you either through getting you uh pregnant or by marrying you i see a lot of people want to come in and change and say i have nothing to say so you have people that want to come in and and and, and, and like be back a part of your life but they don't want to really speak about the reason why you guys disconnected i see you could deal with some family members brothers siblings it's like, uh, well, what's in the past? In the past, we won't have to address it. Let's just start from this and move forward. And you're in the energy like, nah, let's not do that. Because if we don't address the issue, it's still a problem, you know? And I see it here. Um, you were not my type, just something to do. So I feel like these are people in the past that you had to end up cutting off because they wanted to put you in an unconventional situation. They wanted to put you in a friends with benefits or something that wasn't permanent. And, and right now, I, I feel like this was somebody that was like at first when they first started talking to you, like you wasn't their type, but you like they said, it was something to do. And now since you're no longer doing them and you start doing you and you start elevating, start becoming powerful in your own right, now they want to come back in and try to create something from nothing and i say um, i've talked to my friends about this so now that you've come in your power they're they're having people from your past are having conversations about your growth and that's what's making people more um i feel like people are becoming delusional to the fact that it, it's like they're delusional to what they did in the past and they're just hoping that they could just pop back up and reappear but you're not allowing this to happen because you're gaining absolute power by your spiritual gifts see this is why you're becoming this emperor and this king of pentacles something about your spiritual gifts you started to tap into and now it is kind of like helping finance you and spirit says you're gaining absolute power over old situations and new situations and now people are talking about you about how powerful you're becoming and the ones that had that that energy and that that energy and that opportunity to be with you now they want to come back in why because you are the king of pentacles they see you as the jackpot it says jackpot looking like a bag of money everything that you're doing right now is 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 oozing out prosperity abundance and power and now those very people who deemed you powerless is trying to be a part of your powerful energy that's what i got for you family